they're not wildfires. Uh, when you see the core burning, we're burning uh, according to plans and prescriptions and, and, and applicable science to accomplish our management objectives. So uh, it's nothing to be feared. Uh, my name is Stacy Duncan. I'm one of three in district environmental biologists for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Tulsa District, and I work in the district office. So this week, uh, this is our 11th year to conduct prescribed fire training for Tulsa District staff. Uh, we do this, like I said, every every year in Feb every year in February. We do a week-long class that teaches our natural resource specialists and other project staff, such as uh, maintenance workers, how to safely and properly conduct prescribed fire. And basically, we're applying fire to the land to meet natural resources or management objectives. The last three years, we've been conducting it here uh, at uh, Fort Gibson Lake in conjunction with the Oklahoma Department of Wildlife Conservation to meet some of our regulatory requirements uh, from the Fish and Wildlife Service in conjunction with training our, our, our staff throughout the district. In addition to USA staff, uh, we have Brett Thompson, who's the refuge manager. What we've done the last three years, we've partnered with them to manage part of the uh, Fort Gibson Wildlife Management Area and Fort Gibson Waterfowl Refuge for the benefit of the American Bering Beetle Endangered Species. Uh, since the inception, we've uh, worked closely with Oklahoma State University. John Weir is a research assistant there uh, who's known as a, a world-renowned expert in the application and, and, uh, and training uh, for conducting prescribed burns. John has over 20 years' experience. He's written many books, uh, and we felt that uh, when we wanted to go out and get some training, we'd go out and get the best, and John has served us well. I think over the last 10 years, he's trained in excess of 100, 120 core employees. We're in charge of over a million acres of land and water. The most cost-effective and most um, ecologically um, responsible way to manage that land is using prescribed burn. We're basically trying to maintain the habitat, and improve habitat, increase diversity, and, and prescribed fire meets all those objectives. And, and like I said, it's most one, of the, one of the most cost-effective ways to meet those objectives. I'd like the public to know that um, Prescribed fire is a science. It's done in a way and under conditions so that we can um, safely do it. Um, and it's something uh, that uh, helps maintain and keep our uh, federal lands beautiful.